Hello friends, I am Sonali. Welcome to By Heart's next video. So our today's video is about decoupage, basic decoupage. So there are different types of decoupage that we'll see later. But for first, I want you guys to learn about basic decoupage. Now, what is decoupage? Decoupage is nothing but decorating any item, any surface with the help of paper. So what kind of surface? Glass, metal, wooden, leather, even fabric. So you can upcycle uh, old plastic containers old glass bottles, even old wooden furniture at your home. You can make, uh, you can give different look to your old leather bags or fabric bags. So there is different technique for uh, every surface, like uh, for wooden, metal, leather, fabric. So what is basic that we are going to learn today on a glass bottle. That is a very basic thing about decoupage. So this is the bottle I'm going to show you today how to decoupage this let's start okay let's start with the material first so i'll tell you what all material we need a glass bottle chalk pen mud podge it works as a glue one by one i'll tell you about all this material while we are using it then sponge for dabbing any flat brush a small round brush this size then acrylic paint, paper plate, plastic plate, any plate, little bit of water, important thing, decoupage tissue. This is the design we are going to make today. And the last one, varnish, varnish for finishing, uh, which will protect your bottle or any home decor decoupage item you're going to do. So this is Asian paints, clear one. You can use any. And you have one more option for varnish. So this is the picture varnish. It is spray varnish. Uh, generally, we use it for uh, acrylic painting, oil painting. So you can use this also. But before we start, let me tell you why we are using glass bottle for a basic decoupage video. Because of its shape, this way round and also this shape. So once you watch this video and learn how to decoupage this type of surface round and this type of curvy surface so you'll be able to do decoupage any other surface so that will be easier for you to understand our first step is apply this chalk paint with this sponge on this bottle let me uh, show you this chalk paint so this is little buddy chalk paint you can see and it is written as a snow so this is the white color shade You'll get all other shades in chalk pen, but you need, even if you are using any other color, like uh, this is a black color decoupage tissue. So for this also, as a base, you need to use white color chalk pen only. Okay. And in chalk pen like this, you will get uh, all other shades. I usually don't use these shades. I What I do, I mix these acrylic paints with this chalk pen uh, for my work. In acrylic paint also, if you don't have this big bottles, you can also get this small one, Fevicryl. So you can get a pack of six, pack of 12, or either you can get uh, separate bottles also. So this is convenient for you. And why we are using it with this uh, sponge, not with the brush, I'll show you. You need to close this lid immediately as it dries very fast. So this is my bottle and here I'm applying it with the brush. So when you apply it with the brush, see, you can see the strokes. We don't want it. We want an even surface. That's why we are using sponge. So while using sponge, don't expect that you will get a super smooth surface as a bottle. You will get a little bit of flat, uh, rough, sorry, rough surface. But it is always better than this brush. So how? And in sponge also, you can use any sponge you will get in uh, any uh, nearby sofa shop or any cushion workshop uh, nearby. So there you'll get many pieces of sponge. Also in market, these type of dabbing sponges are available. But you, this one you can use for acrylic paints, not for chalk paints. 
I'll show you. Once I use this one for the chalk pen, and it becomes very hard. So you can't use it later. So for usually for this type of sponge, uh, once this edge is done, you can use uh, other sides. Also, you can cut this side, and then you can use the rest of the sponge. So any sponge you can use. So take a little bit of chalk paint on your sponge and then dab it. And remember thing, don't apply too thick and not too thin. So for this, for chalk paint, we are going to apply two coats. So two coats of chalk paint. So first we apply a, a single coat. We'll let it dry. It will take almost 15 to 20 minutes. In summer, it get dries very quickly. If it is a rainy season, it takes time more than an hour. So if you have time, what you can do, you can apply the chalk paint, uh, let it dry overnight, and next day you can uh, do the rest of the procedure. So this way, you can see. So in first attempt, you may not get this even surface, but practice will definitely make you perfect. You can see like this. So we, we are going to cover all the, uh, all the surface of this bottle. Okay, now while our bottle is drying, I'll tell you about the decoupage tissue. You can also call it as a decoupage napkin. In market and also online, uh, you'll get this thing. So there are few more options are there like decoupage paper, rice paper but uh, for this for bottle decoupage we are not going to use any decoupage paper or rice paper. We need to use decoupage tissue. Why I'll tell you. So uh, you, you know this kitchen napkins, kitchen towels. So you'll get it in three ply or two ply options. So what is mean by three ply and two ply. So if you check it, it has two, uh, two to three different layers. show you so this is the first layer I have removed and then this is the sec second layer so when you remove the topmost layer you can see the design from uh, this side it is printed and from on the other side also it is visible and then it becomes super thin so it is very convenient to use on a curvy surface like a bottle so that's why we are going to use the decoupage tissue or napkin and not the decoupage paper or any rice paper for a decoupage purpose so these uh, tissues are available on amazon a pack of 10 you will get uh, with different designs also it is available on itsy itsy they have their local stores you can check in your city or uh, they have uh, their website also. Also, there are a uh, few more websites, uh, art and craft material they are supplying. Uh, in description box, I will mention everything. And one more important thing, I guess I forgot to tell you, a newspaper, you always need, need to cover your surface, whether you are doing it on a table, whether you are sitting on a floor. So it's always uh, better to uh, spread any old newspaper or any sheet to protect your surface uh, from paints okay so this paper you can see it is already cut into pieces this is the sample decoupage napkin i'll show you how to cut it this is a full design so we are not going to use any scissor or any cutter to cut this why because scissor or cutter will give you a sharp edge we don't want that we want the edges to look uh, like blurry to look rough so when you wrap it around the bottle or any curvy surface or any round surface and if your edges are sharp like this it will not look good it will look very artificial so we don't we don't want that so we want this edge to merge with the other edge this we want this edges to merge with the base color we uh, want this edge to merge with the uh, other acrylic paints we are going to use so that's why we want a rough edge. We don't want any sharp edges. Now how to cut with this rough edge. I'll show you. And uh, we are not going to use any scissor or cutter. So this is water and this is brush. 
make your brush little bit so here most of the decoupage paper you will get uh, the design is printed sim similarly if you divide it into four pieces so like this so just make your brush wet, wet the tissue and then just gently tear it, very gently, okay. So once you cut this tissue, make sure you remove all the layer. This Morphodge is available on Amazon, Flipkart and some other art and craft websites. Also, uh, in its you will get a uh, different brand but this is the better one and this is the matte finish you can also get the glossy one how to use it so. take some glue make sure you have water handy always keep your brush in water once you use this glue Otherwise, your brush will get damaged. So, this is Morphodge. And one more thing. So, we are not going to start with any edge, this or this. We are going to start with the center. So, first we'll uh, glue this part and then we'll go to these two sides. Why? Because, see, so this is the round surface. And if you start with the edge, there are chances that you might go this way or this way. So it's always better to start with the center of the paper. And how much glue? Not too much, not too less. So only I'll show you. Only this half to one inch thickness, this much patch is enough. So this patch, you put this glue on your bottle with a flat brush keep the brush in water immediately and now place this paper gently wherever you have applied the glue very gently and now to fix it for this you can use the sponge so see you can see Dab it gently with the sponge. So wherever you have applied this glue, the paper will get fixed on this bottle. So if you feel there are some creases, dab it gently and take them out. So now these are the edges here. So I'm going to seal them. So while sealing, you can apply the glue like this over the paper and take out whatever air bubble is remaining there gently. Don't drag too hard. So now here you can see so because of this curvy shape the surface the paper is getting more creases so how to avoid it very simple thing 
make your smaller brush wet and take few cuts here on this paper and gently tear it like this okay and i'll give one more cut here this side simply like this so you can see and now i'll glue this so the paper might overlap but that is okay it's almost white if you have some different design you need to be careful when it overlaps see now this whatever i tear so two sides i have glued now this is the remaining part i'll glue this this edge uh, one more thing so when you apply um, this chalk paint if you need you can go for three coats also so if you feel that you have very rough surface so because of this sponge what you can do you just uh, rub it with the sandpaper sandpaper you will get in any hardware shop but uh, go for the uh, fine one not the hard one not the rough one so the fine sandpaper you can use to rub it and make the surface a little bit of smoother you can see how i'm holding the brush here and then pressing it gently on this paper so the air will come out okay now before applying the top coat of this glue on this paper uh, we are going to uh, put some more paper on the rest of the area so what you can do whatever design you have with you uh, you can either uh, decoupage the whole bottle till here with the same design or you can just uh, place till this area and the top till this area you can decoupage it and the top part you can paint with acrylic paint or you can just put this any uh, thread decorative thread color thread as per your choice so if you see this bottle so this part is almost done so we need to work here and then here so this bottom part here we need to put something so what we are going to put so i'm going to cut something from this So in decoupage, especially in bottle decoupage, it is uh, very important uh, whatever de design you have, what to cut, how to cut and where to place it on your bottle. So it will look good. So what will match here and so what I'll, I'll, I'll take this part, the small parts I will put on the top. And then this thing I'll place here, here, this part. okay so this part is almost done now <clears throat> if you wish you can put 
something here but i'm not going to i'm going to paint it i'll show you how and then here this part you can see this design this ends here and i want to continue it with this so what i'll do you can see okay, i'll put this paper here so it will look like a continue design so here again so this paper is straight and the shape is curvy so again you have uh, two ways either cut the paper first in two to three pieces and then paste it or else you start gluing it and while uh, pasting you can make cuts okay Once you are done with the paper, uh, let it dry for 5 to 10 minutes and then we'll again apply the same glue as a finisher all over the paper, wherever you have applied the paper on this bottle. Okay. That. now let it dry for some time why okay, to now let's start with the acrylic paints how to paint the remaining part so if you are regularly doing paintings and all and you have these types of acrylic paints you can use this also or you can use this very krill also as i told you earlier you'll get the smaller bottle size 
so here uh, there is a white acrylic paint and the red from this one and I am going to mix it with this white. Okay, so let me finish this paint on this brush and then I'll use the sponge. What you can do? And then see. Okay, now while doing this don't take too much of paint on your sponge or uh, for a taste you can uh, always try it on a rough paper on a waste paper how it goes and then just also see I have some white acrylic paint also so now I took some white paint and then so this way if I come in the reverse side way, you can see the shading. Now this is the thread I want to put here, so, you know lockdown is there, you can't go out and you don't have many choices, so this is what I'm going to put and we are going to use the same glue, same mud watch for this, take some glue, take your brush and then A 
apply some glue on your bottle and yes you can start now with this thread Now the last step of our project, applying varnish. As I told you earlier, this is the Asian Paints Clear Varnish. We are going to use this to protect our bottle uh, surface, this paper, paint, everything. So you'll get this thing uh, in any hardware shop. Also, it is available online on Amazon or and to fifty catches and how. If you don't want to buy this whole one liter ka dabba, so I showed you this uh, spray varnish. You can use that also. You'll get some other picture varnish in art and craft shops. You can use that also, but this is the better one, I feel. So take some varnish in any paper, glass, or plastic container. Also, after using varnish with this brush, uh, immediately keep it in water for four to five hours. Otherwise, it will get damaged. And now, before we start applying this, always keep in mind that uh, put the varnish first uh, on the paper. So wherever you have paper, and then uh, go to the part where you have applied this acrylic paint or any other paint because what happens sometimes it get mixed with this acrylic paint and Hey guys, hope you all liked our today's video about basic decoupage. So we have many non-Marathi followers on Instagram. They suggested us to make video in English. So that's why our first video of decoupage, we made it in English. So if you want to make it in Marathi, I'll make one more video for you. So please let me know and like, comment, subscribe, share and let us know how you like.